What is up everybody? This is Aaron with Wreak Havoc here and today I got some pretty cool uh, pop culture stuff. We got some Legos, we got Winnie the Pooh, uh, we got Lion King, we got Ghostbusters, we have a train set. Uh, just stay tuned, you're going to want to watch this video. Um, I'm going to build up from boring to crazy, really expensive, like just you got you to gotta watch this video. Right here I got some really crazy, crazy deals at a Goodwill and you're not going to want to miss out on it. It is Lego related. There is a lot of sets and I got them for extremely cheap and they're very cool and very expensive. So thank you all for watching and tuning in. Uh, my name is Aaron. This is Wreak Havoc here and I'm trying to uh, establish and build a channel and a loving community of pickers, resellers, anybody who likes to collect, anybody who loves nostalgia. I got my buddy Pikachu here. It's actually like a witch slash uh, Halloween Pikachu I picked up at a Goodwill. I paid up for it a little bit. It was $10, but we'll get to that later. Um, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Send me some comments and positive feedback. Um, I really do and love enjoying the, I do love enjoying doing all this. Um, it's not just about the money. It's about connections and networking, and it's about the, the thrill of finding really, really cool items. So we're going to get into this video because I got a decent amount of stuff. Um, this is a compilation of, I think, two... Well, m predominantly one Goodwill haul, but I'm going to throw these Legos in there just because I actually want to build them. Um, they're together, but I want to unbuild them and then rebuild them and then maybe possibly sell. So we're going to start off with Peach and Pikachu here. He is actually, I think he's about the same size as my Pip-Up over here, maybe a little bit smaller. He might be considered a 24-inch, maybe a 30-inch, uh, but it is a Pikachu. I don't know what year he's from or she. Uh, it is a he because it's a male tail. Um, it is from 2019, the Pokemon Company. Okay, so this is only a couple years old, but I got it for 10 bucks. Um, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I might throw it in the backdrop. We'll see what happens with this, but I thought it was really cool. I love Pokemon. I can't find stuff like this in the stores anymore. You get something like this in a GameStop, and it's like 40 bucks. so I picked it up for $10. Who knows? If I want to sell it, it'll be around Halloween time. Maybe I'll get like 40 50 bucks for it. I don't know. Anyways, he's going to sit back here for right now. He'll be kind of like my mascot and over, like watch over me. But we're going to get into a couple items. I'm going to start off by doing boring items, uh, and then we'll build up. Well, boring maybe for some of you. Um, I got this. This is a um, Niveau de Replice, Replissage or whatever. This is like a canning jar, like a tomato, like a you know pickling jar. Um, I got this for $1.99. Um, it's not going for a lot, but it's really cool. It's made in France. Um, it's got a lot of vegetables, mushrooms, tomatoes, onions on it. I got it for $1.99. Um, I think it's one for like maybe 15 to 20 bucks. But you know, anytime you can make a buck or make a few dollars and like make seven to eight times your money back, go ahead and pick something like that up. You know, if you don't sell it online, it's too breakable or too heavy. Sell it at a tag sale for five bucks. Um, another item right here, nothing special. I've told you I'm going from boring stuff, but all this stuff does have value. I have looked it up. Um, this is actually classic poo. This is a photo album box. Uh, with Christopher Robin, Pooh, Eeyore, and Tigger. Um, it's just photos right there, and it's got a really nice uh, mural on the front or picture. This is $1.99. People are paying for these. I don't know why. I mean, it is cool, but um, anyways, I don't remember how much that's going for quite yet. Um, I didn't look this up, but I know this is going to have some value. Um, this is a Buffalo Games Disney Fine Art Puzzle by Peter Ellenshaw. It's a thousand-piece puzzle. It is sealed. Um, I don't see a year on this, but I'm guessing that, oh, there's a poster inside too. There's a the 18 by 12 poster inside. That's pretty cool. This is 99 cents. This is a sealed Disney puzzle with Cinderella's castle with Cinderella on it. Um, really awesome. Really cool puzzle there. Um, this item I think I got for a dollar. Don't ask me why. It does have to be washed, but I thought it was cute because the, the, the zipper is rainbow. There is some spots on it. It's made by Thermos. Um, I will throw this in the washing machine. There is no Thermos in here, but it's a cool lunchbox. You could put like a sandwich down here and put some drinks and some snacks up here. I got it for a dollar. Even if I sell it for five to ten bucks, I'm still making some money. Uh, it'll make somebody happy. Somebody can put Legos in here, put minifigures, put little dolls and horses in there, Barbies. Uh, so something like that. It's always a good pickup. Uh, while staying on the subject of dolls and girl items, um, I don't know how much that's worth either, but like if it's cheap enough and it's a pretty popular based item, um, go ahead and pick it up. It's really cool. I mean, you'll make somebody's day, even if, even if they can't find something like that anymore, or if they have a, uh, my little pony collection and stuff like that, and they don't have that and they just want to set it up on a shelf somewhere and they want to pay you five to 10 bucks for it, go ahead and pick it up. I mean, you'll make a little bit of money. You're going to make somebody else happy. And you know what? You, you have a new connection. Somebody will save you as a seller. If it goes well, this is actually really neat. Um, this is a 1991. Didn't even know that 1991. This was $3. It's a little dirty. But this is actually, I remember my cousin having this. She used to force me to play, uh, play Barbies. There's nothing in here, 
Um, there's okay. There's a clothing rack, but there's literally nothing in there. It is a wardrobe deluxe doll trunk. So I guess you can put like two dolls in here and then put like accessories, hang them up on here or stick them in here. Okay, it's missing a drawer, two drawers. Um, but somebody will still buy this. I picked this up for $3. It's 30 years old and it's cool. And you know what? There's, you know, you can never have too much Barbie stuff for people who like to collect Barbie. So for three bucks, I'll probably get like 20, maybe 25 out of this. Vintage Barbie stuff, you know, stuff from the 90s. Um, stuff that millennials and stuff like, you know, people like me are growing up with or were growing up with. Um, my cousin used to force me to play with Barbies. I didn't mind though so much because I used to be Ken. I get to uh, drive the sports car, which was probably a Corvette or some sort of Ferrari or whatever. Um, and there was also a really cool Hawaiian shaved ice set that I used to actually make snow cones with. So that, that was pretty cool. Uh, but she, there was sometimes where she used to force me to play Barbies and I didn't want to because she, yeah, it was long story short. Anyways, um, I liked toys myself. I didn't really like Barbies. So, um, but this is cool. This is an eight inch swing line. This is a vintage art deco. I think this is like 1986 or 89 stapler. And I thought it was cool. I love the colors on it. And you know what? People doing props or doing rustic rooms or offices and stuff like that. I mean, you, these are bulletproof. You can't get stuff like this anymore. There's no plastic on here. Uh, this is a beast of a stapler. This is a really cool stapler. Um, so I got this for $1.99 and it's worth like 20 bucks. So just keep, keep your eye out. I mean, if you got some time to poke around and research some items, um, stuff might not look like much like this. Um, it's actually missing a wheel. Oh, dang it. Well, maybe now it's not worth much. Um, this is like a fighter jet. Uh, it's actually Rescue Squad or Rescue Heroes. Uh, it's made by Fisher Price. Um, it's got a handle on the bottom. Um, I probably, yeah, this sucks because I thought that the wheels were, well, it's missing a wheel. That stinks. But I got this for like $1.99, I think. It's going for like 23 to 25 bucks. Um, I guess I'll sell it for parts because it's just missing a wheel. It's kind of like janky, but it comes with the batteries. I know it works and uh, don't know what this stuff does, but it does something and I don't know. Oh. Oh, there you go. There's a hook for um, landing on an aircraft carrier. That's cool. All right. So, sorry you're looking at the back of my head a lot. I'm going to start putting some stuff on the ground. Um, I got this for 50. Oh, actually, I got this for 10 cents. This is a vintage uh, Disney store. What does it say? The Disney store. This is a vintage Disney store. Um, Tigger. And uh, one of the guys, there was no price on it. And I said, is this 50 cents? He goes, no, it's 10 cents. So, I got this vintage Disney store, like really rigid uh, Tigger. It's not a, really a plush. It's hard. But I thought it was really cool, and he's cute. He's not all goofy looking like the ones that they sell nowadays. I really like him a lot. So um, I'll start putting stuff on the floor, I guess. Um, I got this for $1.99. I, don't, I didn't research it. There is no, um, there is no, there's no brand on it, but it's beautiful. It's like some sort of brass, and it's enamel painted, and it's mounted to some sort of carved wood. Um, I have no idea, but it feels like it's it's hollow brass, but it's painted. I mean, look how beautiful and exquisite that is. There's nothing broken. The ears are still there. The tail's there. Um, it's really, really nice. I got it for two dollars, and I mean, whoever anybody who likes this like Chinese like Oriental dragon or any any like this anything like that horses maybe I, I don't know. It's really pretty. So I got that for two dollars. Um, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have to be worth money if I like it and I think it's cool. I'll pick it up. I got this for, I think, 99 cents. This is a brand new in the box, Red Queen Alice in Wonderland from 1999 from Hallmark. Got that for a dollar. Um, like I said, we're getting into some boring stuff. I'll mix it up from between, like, cool and boring. How's that? Uh, this is really cool. Got this to work earlier. Um, this is actually a Lion King Bluetooth rechargeable cordless speaker. It's got a USB to charge it. Uh, it also has an auxiliary jack or a mic on it. And there's actually a port in the back, which is really neat. Um, it actually has... Uh, a USB to plug in and play your own music from your USB and it lights up and um, I thought this thing was cool That was really neat. You can turn the lights off and you can carry it around and it's rechargeable and it's portable. So um, What else we got? We got some other little doodads. I got here a 2011 Daffy Duck uh, Mr. Potato Head. He's going for about 13 bucks. I think I got it for like two. I mean, it's too much money, but thought it was neat um, We got some um, uh, butterfly wings. I don't really like the sale of animals and stuff like that, but I've pressed butterflies. I mean, some people collect this stuff. It's in an old frame. It looks kind of vintage. So I thought it was neat for a dollar. I picked that up. Um, this was really pretty. Um, this is made by a company called, uh, Schumann Dresden or something like that. Or Sh Sherman. I don't know. Something like that. It's made from the 1930s and it's like called Imperial. Um, and it's really pretty. I think a set of these, if I were to have four sauces and four cups goes for 75 bucks. But I'm missing three cups. Um, but I think they gave this to me for like $4.99 for all of it. Um, I gotta shut this off. I apologize. This 
this thing is on. The Hakuna Matata thing's on. Um, bear with me. So this has got a bunch of figures in here. I didn't even realize what was in here until I opened it. Um, this is a dollar. I got a vintage uh, Maximilian from Tangled figure. I got a Sailor Moon, and I don't remember the cat's name. Please don't judge me. I think there's a cat in here. Her cat, and there's like a wand. Yeah, so there's a Sailor Moon. Uh, I think there's a wand, and there's a cat. I don't remember what it was. 1996 Sailor Moon figure and the cat, which is really pretty. Uh, I got Android 19, I think. I don't remember her name either. I, I Android something. Um, oh, cool. There's... It looks like a Pokemon, actually. Bandai. Maybe not. That's probably like a Digimon or something. Um, this also looks like a Pokemon slash Digimon. Bandai. Um, I don't really know what all this is. There's a freaking figure here. It looks like Street Fighter. There's a bunch of animals. Um, I basically got it because I liked the Max and I liked the Sailor Moon stuff. And any vintage figures like this, I easily sell for like 8 to 9 $10. So the Sailor Moon and the Android and stuff like that. And maybe those little Bandai figures, I'll get some money for them. Um, got to put this little wand away. Uh, what else we got? We actually got this Star Wars like First Order and Captain Phasma bucket. That was neat. I picked it up for $2. I'm not going to sell it just yet. Maybe I'll wait till uh, Halloween. But I thought it was neat. I can display it and I can put stuff in it for now. Um, like disinfectant wipes or, you know, maybe like, I don't know, just smaller little doodads that I don't want getting broken. Um, I got the manger scene, little ornament. It's a dollar. I don't know when it's from. Picked it up for a buck. I'll sell that during Christmas time. I got a 1994 Road Champs uh, Boston Fire Department, like ambulance for a dollar. Some stuff like this, sometimes people pay like nine to like $13 for. Every single compartment opens up. I just got it because I liked it. So, I mean, not, not everything has to be worth like 20, 30, 40 bucks. I mean, I pick up stuff people might think is junk, but you know what? There's somebody out there. I get this all the time. I list something online and people are like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for this for so long. And it's the weirdest and dumbest thing you've ever imagined. So, um, let's get into some cooler stuff. We're getting a little drought. Um, we got. We got a little Smurf here. I think I paid 50 cents for him. I think it's called Gutsy Smurf. I have, I think I have Smurfette and I have uh, the Art Smurf. I don't remember what the palette. I don't remember his name. I have three of these Smurfs now. I think they're from the Smurfs movie. Uh, we hit the jackpot the other day in video games and some DVDs. We hit the, mother, not the mother load, but we hit some good games. Uh, good games and some cool movies. Um, we'll start off with a really good one. Uh, Best of PlayStation Network Volume 1 with uh, Vikings, Sound Shapes, Tokyo Jungle, and Fat Princess. This is a, I got this for $2. It's a PS3 game and it goes for $39 to like $53 in used condition. It doesn't have the manual, I don't think. The disc is in excellent condition. It's rated for teen. Got this for $2. This is a crazy like 17 times money back score here. So we got that. We have Army of Two Greatest Hits. I don't know, remember how much it's going for. It's probably like six to eight bucks, but I'll bundle it with some other games. I have Call of Duty and stuff. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy at Goodwill for $2. It's not going for a lot, like 13 to $15. So I might hold on to it for a little while until we spikes again. But this is a really cool game, and I might hold on to it and maybe even play it myself. Um, I really like this, and the case is immaculate. Really nice shape. Um, Unreal Tournament 3 for PS3. I want to play this, but I don't have a PS3. Um, tons of booklets in here. Tons of, uh, of, of stuff. It's complete. Um, really cool game. Another $2 there. Lego Star Wars The Panda Padawan Menace. I got this for 3 bucks. It's a Blu-ray. Um, this thought it was kind of cool. I haven't seen it before. We got Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Complete. Check that out. Pretty cool game. Not worth a ton, but it's pretty cool. Now, I freaked out when I saw this, but this is not the GameCube game. This is Resident Evil Code Veronica X. And people who have GameCube know that this is like a hundred and something dollar game. This is a PS2 game. This is like a 14 to 15 dollar game. But still, for two dollars, I'll easily make good money on it. So I thought this was a really cool pickup. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to this until this becomes valuable. Um, there is no booklet in there, but I can always get one. Uh, Ace Combat 4, always cool to pick up PS2 games. A lot of, hard to find nowadays. Uh, pretty cool. It's weird because it's got the black label here, but it's got the PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits label in here. Um, so I don't know. Sorry I'm rambling. Really excited. I really just want to get to those, and it's going to be a long video. Um, we got this pretty cool bag. This is like a Royal Bismati rice bag. It's like a 20-pound bag with new with the tags on it. The last one of these that sold, it's a zip-up tote bag. This was $3. The last one that sold of this was $39.99 shipped for this thing. And this weighs not even half a pound. So this is a pretty cool pickup. This is over in like the handbag slash hats area. And it was a weird purchase. But it smells nice and it's worth a lot of money. So that was really cool. Love that. Uh, picked up a poster frame for cheap. Uh, it was marked at $2 a couple days ago. And then the, yesterday they marked it down to $0.69. Cents. Um, if anybody who knows at AC Moore or Walmart, these are pretty expensive to get these. These are like maybe $10, $15 for these glass photo frames slash poster frames. 
Um, so that's really awesome. I got some stuff for my mom in this video. Um, you'll see a couple items in a minute. This is for her. This is a Rosetti purse. I paid four dollars for this. It's almost in brand new condition. Sent her a picture of it, asked her if she wanted it, and she flipped out saying she absolutely loved it. So I picked it up for her. Really nice gift. She's a hardworking woman. Um, and she raised me right. So love that. That's a gift for her. This right here is a $2 Norman Rockwell Sheer Agony Barbershop picture. Now, I there's a lot of people out there looking for like barbering items, you know, barbering chairs, old barber items. I sold, I think, an old barber, like 1920s or 30s, like uh, shaving powder little tin. So anybody who's got a barber shop at home or, you know, out, out there, like their own business or um, their own, like renting a place or own it, um, this would be really cool for one of their walls. And it's just a little kid sitting in a chair, kind of cringing his face as the dog's sleeping. So I thought that was neat for $2. I mean, I might make $10 off of that, um, but I thought it was really cool and somebody out there appreciate it. Really cool item here. I say that a lot, but this is actually a vintage, I think a vintage uh, Lion King backpack from 1994, if I'm not mistaken. The, the design of it is really cool. Um, and I love it. I, I think I got this for like $1.99. Um, I didn't check if there's anything cool inside of it. Oh, there was something cool in there. His name is Peter and there's a gummy bear. That's disgusting. Okay, moving on. That was gross. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. My wipes are over there. Anyways, okay. We're going to go back to something that's worth money and then we'll go back to something that's cool. This item I thought was neat. I, I looked at it. It looks like somebody had it at a tag sale. Nobody sold, bought it. It says $10 music box. It says $3 at Goodwill. I was like, eh, whatever. I had a stack of games with me and I was researching stuff. I was like, I'm going to pick it up. I don't want anybody to grab it. It's made out of wood. It's really cool. This is worth some money. Um, this is made by a company called Wooderful. It, w w Wooderful Life. And this is a music box that has a, uh, I think it's Hong Kong. This is Hong Kong. I think this is Shanghai. And I think, oh, there's a ship here. There's like an Imperial ship. And I don't know if this works or not. I think it's overwound. Uh, but I, I have to like figure out how to unwind this. Uh, we'll, but this, uh, after I get this working, the magnet underneath here is supposed to make the ship go around uh, this. And this is going for, I think, 53 to $70 for these little music boxes by this Waterfall company. Because every one they make, you can actually build your own kit. Um, but every one they make is a little bit different. So I thought that was really neat. And I picked it up. And for three dollars, I'll make easily 53 to 60 bucks on this plus shipping. So that's awesome. Um, I really do like that. I mean, I can find anytime I can expand my shop, expand my knowledge, find um, just eclectic range for people to uh, pick through and um, look at my store. It definitely brings people in. I got these for 10 cents. These are Bubba Gump Shrimp Forest Gump um, playing cards, San Francisco. These are really cool Legoland California 1992 cards from the Legoland Museum in uh, California. They're really cool. They have the Legoland uh, logo on them with the swings and they're like brand new playing cards. Um, so I thought that was neat. They're I got these for 10 cents. These are kind of collectible. I mean, even if I sell them for five bucks, I mean, I'm still making what? 50 times my money back because I paid 10 cents. So awesome score there. Um, I got this. This is the, I think it was 30th or 40th anniversary of Airplane with uh, John Candy. It's in a steel book. It, um, it's a Blu-ray and it doesn't have the booklet, but these are going for like $23. I paid two bucks for this and they didn't even know it was a Blu-ray. They, they skinned it as a DVD. So um, this will be a gift for my uncle. This is a steel book. This is the Battle of Midway. Uh, this is the new Blu-ray, the new movie, not the old movie. Um, it is a two disc. It's a digital or regular DVD and Blu-ray. This will be for my uncle after I watch it. I'll give this to him because he'll appreciate this. Huge um, World War II buff. We get a lot of items. I'm gonna. I want to start getting into some Lego soon. Um, we're gonna get into this real quick. This is like a really cool like, ashtray looking thing. Um, this is a dinner without wine. Is like a day without sunshine. It's a pewter hallmarked uh, Wilton tray with some felt on it. So that's easily like 70s or 80s right there. That's really cool. Excellent shape. This was five bucks. I paid up on this thing. I looked this up. This is an Arthur Court 2000 uh, punch bowl or something, or bread bowl or salad bowl. This is a Jaguar or a cheetah. And these are going for like $50 for this, 45 to 50 bucks. This is a massive bowl and it's got uh, like leaves on it, like the jungle and stuff like that. So thought that was neat. I paid five bucks for that. It's worth like 50 bucks. Awesome score there. What else we got? I don't know if I can see this on camera. I got this mug for a dollar and it says intercourse, Pennsylvania lover's paradise with the Amish carriage on it. I just thought it was hilarious. It was a funny joke. Um, I figured it would be a cool gag gift for somebody. I'll list it online for like 10 bucks maybe and see if somebody bites, but really awesome. Uh, I don't know if anybody's been there or not. I don't know how it is, but it's just funny sounding. And anyways, I had to pick it up. The time to buy something is when you see it. 
Uh, what else we got? This item is amazing. I didn't even know what this was at first. I think it was flipped backwards or upside down. This is an, this is a Ghostbusters proton pack made out of that vinyl leather. And I was like, what's some, something's missing off the side of here. Something's missing off the side. Check this out. It is the, it's a, it's the Neutrona wand. Check that out right there. I think it buckles to the side of here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does buckle somehow. I don't know how, but I think it goes on here. Um, I thought this was really neat. Yeah, it does buckle on here. So there's two little hoops on here and you clip the hoops to the button and it hangs on the side of here. And it's actually licensed by Ghostbusters. I thought this was amazing. It's in like brand new condition. I love this. This will be a really hot sell. Excellent item. I don't know who would get rid of stuff like this, but they're missing out because I'd wear this. And this is really freaking cool. So that's an awesome item there. Um, we're moving on to a really cool item that I personally like that I'm going to keep. Um, this is a nine... 944 uh, GT car. Uh, this is Boss. It's oh, is it 924 Turbo? I'm sorry. It looks the same as the 944. 924 Turbo. It's got the smaller wing and it's got the side markers on it. So I apologize. 924 Turbo, uh, like GT1 car. So I thought that was really awesome. I don't remember what I paid for this, um, but that'll be in my personal collection. I really do love that a lot. It's really hard to find 924s and 44s. So this item, they undercharge the crap out of me on this item. If you can can't tell by what this stuff is. These are a bunch of train tracks. We're going to get to the, the, the big item in, in a minute. This stuff right here, thank you guys for sticking with me. I apologize for the blabbing, but this is what I do. Um, so there's a whole bunch of track under here. Check that out. There's more track under there. Look at this. I got this for $4.99. This is a Silver Rail Western Railroad Lines 1986 train set that takes batteries in the, uh, the engine and it pulls around this entire massive track. I think this is brand new in the box. It looks like it still has the factory old tape right here, this old tape, but I, I don't know. Um, this looks like somebody never freaking used it. And every single one of these cars are going for like $15 a piece. So I easily know with the, with the control, the control rig here and with all these trains, I can easily probably get 60 to $80 for this. This is really cool. I can easily just put this in either in another box or just wrap it up the way it is and you know put some cardboard over the top and bottom and sell this in the styrofoam that it's already in and send it down the line. So I thought that was an incredible item. Um, I'm gonna put this out to the side here. Um, I do buy a lot. My garage looks like a hoarder's house, kind of, but it's the garage. It's 2,000 square feet. About 60 people might ask, uh, how, where do I put all my stuff? A lot of it I sell during the week, actually. I usually typically sell like, I don't know, maybe like on average of 80 to 100 items a month, maybe more. I mean, my average is about two to three things a day, but there's some days where I sell like 13 things and other days I sell zero or one. So it kind of balances out. Um, I try to sell more. The more time that I sit and actually be productive and list things, the more I will sell. Um, so I am kind of working with a buddy of mine and he's paying me for some of my time to work on some Porsches and some old uh, VWs and 911s and stuff. So I am working with him um, as well as kind of doing this on the side and doing kind of doing both under the table. So uh, anyways, we're going to get in some really cool items. Uh, I think this is really neat. A lot of people probably had this as a kid. I don't know how old it is. Well, that's going to fall. But this is a really cool doctor set um, with like a, a sphygmometer or Fig, fig, sphygmo manometer, I think that's what it's called. Stethoscope. Um, it's got a coughing thing. It's got like a, it's got like the, you know, the ear thing. It's got the blood pressure thing. It's got the syringe. But it doesn't go in this case, but I thought it was neat for $2 because I actually have an old like Fisher Price little medical kit that makes noises and I actually can use some of this stuff in there. So I thought maybe I can complete that with putting some of those toys in there. Um, we're getting down to it. I got a couple little things here. We're going to get to the big items. Please stick with me. You will not regret it. I'm telling you, if you like Volkswagens, if you like Simpsons, if you like architecture, if you like dinosaurs, if you like Legos, building blocks, anything really, really cool, just please stick with me. It's really neat. They're massive sets. I got them for extremely cheap. We're going to get to it in a second. I'm going to stop talking. Got a couple cool items here. My mom actually got this for me knowing that I, I sell these a lot. This is actually a Thomas, the train engine, uh, pillow pet. Um, I don't remember what year this is from, but it doesn't really matter. 2011. That'll sell pretty easily. I do sell pillow pets for probably like 25 to like 50 bucks sometimes, depending on what it is. Um, I got a Pete's Dragon Build-A-Bear. Check that out. Disney Pete's Dragon Build-A-Bear. It was owned by Braylon, I guess, apparently. I think it's Disney. Is it Disney? Pete's Dragon. Really adorable. Build-A-Bear. Absolutely love that. I love dragons. Um, I like that movie. The new one's pretty neat, too. Um, I don't know why I bought this, but I think this was like a dollar. This is actually like a little Minnie Mouse um, little vest for a kid or a girl or a child. Um, I think I got it for like extremely cheap, maybe $2. And uh, I'll sell it. Probably like 10 15 bucks. 
Um, this is for my mom because she's doing a little basket for a newborn baby and she's doing kind of like a jungle kind of Noah's Ark theme. So she wanted a lion or a giraffe for an elephant and I got her a lion. So this will actually be for her when I see her. So along with the purse and a couple other items that'll, that'll be for her, excuse me. Um, I'm making a mess. I'm sweating. It's hot. The humidity is ridiculous. We've got a couple more things. Um, I got these the other day. Um, I picked the Scooby-Doo up newest tags for $2. It wasn't at a Goodwill. It was actually at an antique shop. I picked up all these figures. These are actually like, uh, I think they're called Shaolin Knights or something like that. No, this is called Metal Knights. This is a vintage figure, I think from like 1998 by Bandai. And then these figures right here are called uh, Ronin, uh, Ronin Warriors, something like that, uh, TV show. I think these are from like 96 or 97. There's a date on them somewhere. I don't remember. Um, and then I got a couple. I got this guy right here. This is Skinner from Jurassic Park. This guy right here is going for like $30. No, oh no, sorry, $17. He is from 1994, 1992. I don't remember. He's got his arm chewed by a dinosaur. He's got some teeth marks in his head and his skull. He's going for like $17. This G.I. Joe here is from 96. I got all this for a dollar. This one's going, I don't remember what he's going for, but I know I'll sell him for more than a buck. So that's cool. Anytime you can find really cool vintage action figures, definitely pick them up. I got the pair of these uh, Lowenbrau uh, German beer steins made out of glass. I got the pair of them for, I think, $4, so about $2 a glass. They're going for about $17 a glass or $12 to $17 a glass. So I'll easily you know, make my money back on those, like no problem. Um, we got this really cool 16 gigabyte uh, 3.0. 3.0 uh, flash drive right here. Uh, hopefully there's nothing on this. Oh, it's not new like I thought. Never mind. Um, I thought it was new, but it's actually open. It says fighting for your family on it. So it probably somebody probably loaded it with something. I got it for $2, 16 gigabyte flash drive for $2. Um, I didn't know it had stuff on it. We got this really neat uh, Irish and Irish blessing thing. It's the beautiful frame. It's matted. It's just, an, I, I know somebody will definitely buy this. This was $3. It was professionally framed and matted and, and hung and everything. So I thought this was really pretty. It's on cherry wood. Um, I know that some Irish family or somebody who likes in St. Patrick's Day or has a really nice Celtic heritage will really love this or give this as a gift. So um, anything like that, that you could think ahead and know maybe that somebody might want or might want to pay for or might appreciate maybe more than you, definitely pick it up. I mean, there's stuff out there at Goodwill that's absolutely like this should be thrown away. But there's a lot of cool stuff that, you know, that that I like to pick up that's, you know, not gold, but it's stuff that people appreciate that somebody shouldn't have donated and maybe just gave away or sell themselves. This guy right here is worth a lot of money. This is uh, Professor Lupin from Harry Potter. His head flips out. He turns from a werewolf to a professor. Really cool item. I got this, I think, for... I got this for a dollar or two dollars, and his arms go out like this. They extend, and he, like, crouches down, and he does this whole, like, werewolf-looking thing. Um, I got this thing for, like, a dollar or two dollars. He's going for $47. This higher Harry Potter Professor Lupin werewolf is insane. Absolutely love this thing. I don't even know if I want to sell it. I love Harry Potter. The price is right. Maybe I'll sell it, but we'll see. This thing is so cool. Um, I love that a lot. It must be rare because I've never seen that before. A um, couple more items. I know I keep saying that. This looks like a brand new in the bag, uh, Twilight Spark or something like that. Um, it's got musical notes on the wings. It's a brand new. It's still taped or, yeah, it's still factory sealed. Brand new My Little Pony. I don't know what year this is from, 2013. Sealed in the bag, which still has the uh, heat crimp mark on the bottom of it. Pretty awesome here. Um, that'll definitely sell. This was 99 cents. I got that for a dollar. Um, somebody will definitely buy that. Um, I got this for three dollars. This is a fold and go barn by Melissa and Doug. It's pretty much mint inside, um, but it does have a couple little like paint touch up marks on the top. Um, but I can easily sell this thing for like 25, 30 bucks plus shipping. So that's a really cool item. Melissa and Doug is really popular. Um, I know I'm rambling again. I'm trying to get through this video because I really want to get to those sets. Um, my mom is a special education teacher. This right here is a uh, nutritional fact about a teacher. It's a, like a half gallon mug. It's ridiculous. This has got to be like at least at least 40 something ounces, maybe uh, maybe more. This is insane. Um, it says like hardworking, 1,000%, passion, determination, caring, regret, zero, caffeine, 110%. Uh, serving size, one awesome teacher. This is going to be for my mom. So I thought that would be really nice. Um, I'll give her a little basket, um, put the little line in it. I'll give her the nice, the nice mug and um, a couple of the purse and everything like that. She'll love it. Um, what do we got here? We got a couple things. We got three things left. This basket is for my mom. She likes to make up a little care baskets for people. Um, she's really sweet like that. It's very giving Christian woman. It's going to fall. Um, she loves baskets because she kind of gets like hand towels and candles and stuffed animals. And she makes little baskets and sympathy, weddings, baby showers, um, anything like that. Birthdays. Very, very kind woman. And, um, she loves doing that for people. So I like getting her baskets when I can. 
Uh, this was a dollar. This is a Lightning McQueen looking RC car. I don't know if it goes by itself or needs a remote control. It was a dollar. I figured somebody would pay five to ten bucks for this. Um, if it goes by itself, it probably does. Uh, pretty cool item. Uh, two more things here. Got a ceramic stoneware mug from Mware. I don't know, but it's Grand Canyon National Park, Arizona. And this thing probably weighs a pound and a half. I'm no joke. This thing is a literally like half inch thick mug. It's so solid. Um, I don't know. Stuff like this collectibles sell really easily. So that'll sell uh for way more than a dollar and then one of my favorite purchases from yesterday it's not worth a ton it is worth money but i had one of these and i sold it and i shouldn't have but he was missing a piece to him now if you've seen before in my background i do have a lego star wars darth vader clock and i do have a lego star wars stormtrooper clock well i did actually get back my boba fett lego star wars clock they were asking five dollars for this his betters are about to die but he was missing this in my old one I sold, I bought one before for $5. He was missing his rangefinder, and I actually sold him for $20 before without this. And I bought this for $5. He is complete and he does work. It's very faint. Amazing, amazing figure. I'm probably never going to let go of this now. I absolutely love this. This is so cool. And he completes my set of dark side uh, Lego clock figures for now. So love that. We're time to get into the big items. Big items. I freaked out. We're going to take a pause. I'm sweating, I'm nervous. This video has been long enough. I went to a Goodwill, the same one that I got some of this really cool stuff like the Boba Fett thing and, and the train set and some of the really ridiculously like cheap prices. And then the back of the store, there was two totes and I was like, is that a Volkswagen? Are those Legos? And I looked at the tote. Not only are they brand new Rubbermaid totes that probably go for like eight to $12 a piece. They were filled with Lego sets that were completely billed for $20. We're gonna go into some items now. You might not be able to see them as well as I can show, but I got this for $20 and I got two of them. You'll see the other one in a minute. <sighs> amazing, amazing items. I'm gonna just start pulling some stuff out. I got this, I'm gonna have to put these together, but I know this is a T-Rex. Um, the T-Rex head goes here, I have the tail. It's a complete Lego set. It says Tyrannosaurus Rex on it, Lego set, right there, boom. Um, this right here, I think goes to Something, I think this is the either, I don't know if this is the T-Rex or not. Maybe it's a pterodactyl or something. But this is a Triceratops one. And all the pieces are in here. Um, they're just kind of thrown everywhere. I mean, here, here are the horns for the Triceratops. Um, there, oh, that's the tail. Whatever. I'm just saying, I'm showing you. These are like these architectural Smithsonian ones. I don't know how much those go for. I didn't look those up. But I want to dismantle them and then rebuild them and make sure all the pieces are there and sell them as a complete built set. Those are freaking awesome. And then I saw this. And this is um, Chief Wiggum with Ralph in the back seat of the police car. And it says number one doofus on it. I'm going to get closer. Um, this is Chief Wiggum. And this is a Lego police car with a Simpsons set right here. Now, I didn't realize what this was. But I'm going to pull this out. I freaked out. Oh, my God. I freaked out in this thing. I so freaked out in this thing. This is going for a lot of money built. I'm going to drop it. Going to drop it. If anybody knows what this is, anybody knows Star, um, Simpsons at all. This is this this is the Quickie Mart. Oh, oh my gosh, man! Oh my gosh, this thing is insane. Look at that! It's got Homer, Apu. It's got Marge. All the shelves are inside the counter, the cash register, everything. This thing is incredible. I got this, this, the last time I checked, this was getting bid on for thirty dollars shipping. It was going at for one hundred and thirty dollars built with no instructions, complete. It was insane. Um, it's got, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I didn't know it did this, <gasps> oh my gosh, okay, okay, you're seeing this for the first time, I just realized that this happened, or this is, this is, opens up, this is incredible, oh my gosh, look at this, donuts, cash register, squishy machine, look at this, it's got power sauce with the freaking weightlifting guy, it's got the frozen dude in the freezer, Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. It's got crusty o cereal. It's got squishies. It's got a welcome mat. It's got the freaking Slurpee machine. It's got Angry Dad Monthly Mom Magazine. It's got magazines. This is incredible, everybody. This is really incredible. I didn't realize that it, it was this insane. Um, I think it just cooks back together. This is why I didn't know it opened because it's got like some little snap on the back. Um, and I don't know how to do this, but we'll figure that out after. I did not realize it did this. This is incredible, and I don't even know if I want to sell it now. Um, amazing, amazing set there. Uh, it's very valuable um, in the way it is right now, the way it sits right now. It's so amazing. Um, going to have to look into that later. we got another couple figures here. Oh, my gosh. So I got, a, I got a Jurassic Park or some sort of skeleton explorer. 
I got another archaeologist guy with a bone. Um, here's a Bart Simpson with a, a little spray can. Look, it looks like he's doing graffiti. Um, and this one kind of fell apart on me, but you can kind of get the gist of what it is. This is a Volkswagen Beetle. Sorry, here's the roof. Volkswagen Beetle that lights up. Um, it, it looks like it's complete. Amazing figure. Everything opens and, and it's got a battery pack on it. So that was an insane figure there. Um, I'm just blown away right now for $20. I got all this stuff. Um, here's the other axle for the wheels. Oh, here's the uh, Pteranodon. There is a Pteranodon in here. So there's actually three sets of dinosaurs in here. Here's the Triceratops head. Here is the skateboard for which is one of the coolest Legos that I've seen in a long time. Volkswagen Combi Bus. Complete with, oops, well complete with that, not that piece. Um, complete with like wine bottles and like a dinner table and like the curtains on it. There's like curtains in there and there's a sink and a faucet and a bathroom and a bed. The seats actually fold into a bed. Such a freaking cool item. Uh, I don't know what all this is worth. Here's the roof that the skateboard goes on. Tons of parts and pieces in here. Um, here's a VW license plate. Uh, this is why I saved it for last. And on top of this, look at these rough neck totes. Rough neck totes are amazing. That's just number one. I paid $20 for all this. The Beetle, I think, was in out of package. It was going for 60 to 80 bucks. I think this is like 80 to 90 to 80 to 100 for this one. That one was going for 140 plus, $160 shipped plus. It was still getting bid on. These, the, this, um, these dinosaur sets, I have no idea if I should sell them together as a set. Um, incredible, incredible items. I do have another one. I was blown away when I got the guy. Literally said he literally just put them out there, and I walked in and I snagged them, and it's been one of the best decisions I've made. You're gonna see why in a second. Um, I'll see this. One. I'll just do this one now. It, I don't. I didn't know what this was until I researched it, and I still don't know what it was. This is a architecture Lego building. This is the Frank Lloyd Wright Robin House or Robbie House building. This building right here, if anybody knows what Lego is, I don't know if the book's in here or not. There's a ton of freaking books. This building has all the pieces to it here. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a jail or a prison or a school. Probably a school or an office building. Blew my mind. There was one listing online that like 19 people were watching. A brand new box sealed with this Lego set. Because this is so rare... They were asking $77,777 and there was like 20 people watching it. It was incredible. I, I, it's unbelievable. Out of box, these are going for $300 to $600 in built shape complete. Insane. I paid $20 for this box. $20. I have to find the pieces for that. Um, you get stuff like this. These Mars rovers. These massive Mars rovers and spaceships and all sorts of freaking pumps and pieces and boats and I mean there's so much stuff in here there's still a bunch of stickers like I mean look at there's still stuff in packages that's not even open yet little astronauts this is a Mars set because this lunar this mission Mars stuff or Mars mission stuff there's like five booklets of this in here so there's got to be a bunch of different tons and tons of stuff blown away everybody absolutely blown away um I wanted to kind of do the boring stuff first because I wanted to be able to get this excitement and get this energy out at the end of the video. Um, just knowing that this one little house right here is worth $300 to $600. I mean, I'm going to literally find every little piece, um, find the instructions online. I'm going to try and build this thing from scratch and ship this thing, I guess, the way it is. Or maybe print out some receipts and put it all in little baggies. Um, incredible, incredible. Uh, this was last week, actually, and I was just, maybe it was last week. Uh, just blown away. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys did too. Um, everything from little action figures, you know, Scooby-Doo, we got Boba Fett, we got Professor Lupin from Harry Potter, we got some gifts from my mom, some amazing Lego sets, we got some Lion King, we got some Thomas the Train, we got Ghostbusters. It's like a nostalgia overload. Anything and everything that I grew up with, Ghostbusters from the 84 and Legos and Volkswagen buses because I grew up in Volkswagen's Audis and Porsches. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? Action figures. Freaking Bandai TV shows from the, from 99 and 2000. Dragon Ball Z figures. We have Sailor Moon. Just really cool stuff. Scooby-Doo. Who doesn't love Scooby-Doo? I mean, everything from plushes to building toys to backpacks. I mean, all this stuff I get to touch and look at and photograph and research and describe and get to sell to somebody that makes me as happy or makes them as happy as it makes me. And I really do enjoy doing this. And I appreciate everybody watching this video. I'm fooling around with the little engine compartments from these buses. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that little flat four engine in the freaking back of the Volkswagen. Little 1400 cc, 80 horsepower motor. Um, probably not even that much. 
Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Anybody who watches this video, I don't care. You guys are supporting me. You guys must share a common interest with me if you guys are watching this video. I'm sorry it's so long. It's sweaty. It's humid. It's hot in here. Um, but just getting to look at and touch these things. I mean, I don't have to spend thousands or hundreds of dollars on Legos. I spent $39.98 on two totes of Legos that probably the totes cost $20 themselves. And these Lego sets are, I think I added up everything but the dinosaurs and it was almost $1,000 between the Quickie Mart for a couple hundred bucks, the two buses, that Robbie house, whatever Mission Mars stuff was there. It was over $1,000 in Legos, everybody. Um, this is why I do it. It's just, it's fun. The thrill of the hunt is incredible. It's exhilarating. Who, who needs drugs? Who needs, who needs pot? Who needs, uh, you know, who needs cigarettes? Who needs anything like that? Who needs that stuff? The rush that you get from... From, I don't even know if I should have mentioned that, but I get so excited. This stuff right here is so thrilling, so passionate for me, so so like invigorating for me. I love this stuff. You you saw me light up when I opened up that Quickie Mart. That was a general reaction. I freaked out. I was like, oh, you can see through the windows and see the little shelves. Little did I know that the top came off and the back opened up and there's a garbage dumpster on the side and there's like 50 million Lego figures that come with it. I, this is what people should be doing. People should be reliving their childhood and doing things that make them happy. Um, I, I really do love doing this and I hope nobody faults me for it because I love being a kid. I love being an, you know, an, an innocent adult. And um, thank you all for watching again. Please be good to one another. Please be happy. I know the times are kind of hard and we're getting back on our feet, but you know, people out there still don't have jobs. There's people that are still either sick or there's people that you know lost their jobs or are homeless and stuff like that. Just please reach out a hand. Um, give a gift to somebody, uh, say hi to somebody, smile at somebody, just do anything to make somebody's world better for one more day. Uh, I thank you all for watching. My name's Aaron. My channel's Wreak Havoc. Please support me in watching my videos. I don't get paid for this stuff. Um, I used to be a car channel and now I'm doing this for fun and I just absolutely love this. I do love cars, but I live in an area where cars aren't really that popular. So, um, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for another video. Until next time, stay safe out there. Be good to one another and wreak some havoc, spark some curiosity, and ignite some chaos. I haven't said that in a while, but thank you all again. Peace out.